Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, set up your Devo 7e and to bind this Devo 7e to a DSM receiver. And um, I'm going to get, take you through the process. So this is to show the newbies, especially the very, very new beginners how to bind your Devo 7e with DSM or DSMX to a DSM or DSMX receiver. So first of all, what you need to do is a very simple setup. And before I go any further, you must have a Devo 7e that has been flashed with deviation. And um, it doesn't matter whether you have a module mode or not because if you just want to convert this Devo 7e to a D DSM or DSMX capable transmitter all you need to do is just flash this with deviation and I like to flash this with uh, nightly build deviation because they are more updated and they will add on more protocol as it goes on but that's only if you have a module mod in here that you can you you are concerned with uh, additional uh, protocol but other than that you, it's still better to use a nightly build even if you're flashing this with, for DSM or DSMX uh, protocol so first of all what you need to do is to turn, turn this on And then go to model menu, press enter, model setup, and then go to load. Um, I'll just, and you can load model one. Uh, with this model, I just want to uh, reset this because I think I was doing this some, this, uh, some uh, modification to the model earlier. So I just want to reset this to the default. So if you look at the file, you can do a, diff a lot of different things with uh, this file uh, menu. You can load, you can copy, copy to, especially if you create a model already, you can use that particular model to, for other quads. And this is template, you can enter and then you can select the uh, already uh, set out templates for you. You normally choose the one with uh, six, six channel airplane and, and of course you can do reset so I did a reset so let's go back just to load model 1 so I scroll down so this is Devo uh, protocol I just need to scroll through this um, I think I'll bind this with a DSMX uh, protocol. I'll just click this first so that I select that. And then I exit. I go to mixer. Um, you can see the uh, channels are already set up. T A E R. And the two switches are not set. So channel 5 and channel 6. So what you need to do is to set this switch is to um, enter here and then you go and then select simple scroll down to SRC flip the switch down and then scroll back and save so now you have set this switch the next one is to set the other switch, go to none, press enter like earlier, press this one, go to simple, scroll down, and then flick this switch. And go up, save. So now you set up two two position switches. So I'll show you that they work. Go to transmitter menu. Go to channel monitor. So channel 5 with this switch. Look, look at the 
look at the monitor, if I flick it down, it goes to 100, flick it up for negative 100, same with this one. So you're ready to bind with your quad. So let me go to the next section. Okay guys, so um, this is the quad that I want to uh, bind with my Devo 7E. So this one is a King Kong Smart 100. It has this uh, DSM2 or DSMX compatible receiver already installed. So it has been already set up with a uh, DSMX uh, protocol and it has its own PIDs. So there's few things that you need to know if you bought one of these which is an older version that of clean flight um, if you open up the new clean flight which has already been updated you're not able to be able to connect this to clean flight so what you need to do you need to uh, install the old version of clean flight if you don't want to flash this to uh, the newer version of clean flight or better flight so I usually like to leave the stock uh, clean flight and I don't usually flash them to the latest one so I'm going to leave a link down below in my video where Panless 360 has done an instruction video on how to I install the all clean flight. So let's start with this one. So what you need to do is, uh, of course, you need to connect this to your computer. So this is the uh, USB plug and connector. Plug this in, and the flight control board will be activated. So we move away the props for a while. Remember you always have to take away the props for safety reasons. So looking at the screen now, if you load the newer version of Clean 5 which I have here, you are going to see that you cannot connect. This is a newer version of Clean 5. So you need to install the old version, which is this one, which I said earlier that I'm going to leave a link down where Panless 360 has uh, already done a very good video on that. So you click on this, and then you click Connect. And the, um, the quad is connected to uh, Clean Flight now. This is the first thing that you always do before you actually find your receiver to your Devo 70 because you need to check all the settings to make sure that uh, the receiver uh, is set up correctly in clean flight and also the modes are uh, also see whether they are set up or not so if we go through this uh, clean flight let's, let's and we can see that the uh, quad is moving according, accordingly. Front is front, back is back, left, right. So I'm going to uh, calibrate this anywhere. There's only a few things that you need to do. You don't have to worry too much about the other settings. So yep, it's working fine. I usually, after I calibrate, I usually go to configuration. I press save and reboot and go to setup and check again and there is fine so I go to ports because this has already been set up um, I think U1 is for USB so don't worry about that one U2 is for the serial RX which is the uh, DSM or DSMX receiver configuration uh, motor stop. So this one don't spin up the motor if you arm it. Disarm motors regardless of throttle value. 
Yeah, that's fine. One thousand one. Everything looks all right. Yep, you don't have to touch anything else. Fail safe. Usually, you set it to stage two, which is dropped. PID drillings. I think this is the stock smart one hundred uh, PIDs. I think it works fine, but um, you can adjust up the uh, raw and pitch and yaw rate higher if you want to. And the strain is a bit lower. And that's fine because if you are a more experienced um, pilot, you don't really need so much of uh, self balancing uh, power uh, in anger mode. You can lower this down a bit and it makes the flight much much smoother. So on the receiver tab, if you look at the TAER1234, um, this is where you have to map your um, transmitter to the channel mapping. So if I'm because I'm using spectrum, I probably press spectrum and save. So spectrum is T A E R. So that's fine already save. Modes. And I'll just cancel this first and then we can set it up when we connect the uh level 70 to uh the receiver okay everything looks okay okay let's let's now disconnect and then I unplug the uh, USB and I want to uh, do the binding so with binding for this receiver what we need to do is we need to uh, press the uh, bind button somewhere here I bring it closer so that you can have a look It's a very tiny bind button here. If I click it, you can hear the sound. There's a bind button. So the binding procedure is you need to uh, hold the button and then connect the battery. And then you will go into binding mode. And um, let's turn this on first. Now hang on, we don't turn this on. With this one, we set this to binding mode first. So the bind button is here, I'll press that. Where is the bind button? Oh. I hope I didn't destroy the bind button. Yeah, it's fine. So let me try this. Alright. I already press in the So it's blinking, so it's in buy mode. So I just make sure that I press the connector in a bit. So blinking. So what I need to do is just turn this on. Go to model media, the one that I just set up.
And I go to choose my uh, protocol and then just go to bind, press enter. Okay, let me make sure that you can see this. I think it's bound. Let me connect this back to the uh, computer. Yep. So you need to take off the uh, battery and turn and put it back on so that uh, it can reset itself. As you can see in the uh, on the screen now, it's bound. You have the throttle. Your is reverse, so we need to reverse the channel. Pitch is correct. Raw is also reverse. So what you need to do is. We need to reverse the channel. So go to mixer. So the yo is rather. So we need to reverse this. Aileron, we need to reverse that. So you look at the screen, your is right, it's fine now. Fish raw. So everything is set up, it's bound. Um so I the next thing that we need to check is uh I think let me see whether if I disconnect the battery whether it's, we can still get this yes so even if I after binding even if I disconnect the battery the transmitter is still can still connect to the uh, quad so I'm just going to take the battery off much easier so you can see everything is fine the next thing to check is the uh, the maximum and minimum. So if you if you see, I push the pitch up. It's one eight four one. Push it down. It's supposed to go between one thousand to two thousand. Um, it looks fine. It's still between the numbers. But you can actually set this. Um, using the trim button let me show you you need to go to sub trim go to mixer let's go to uh, elevator Okay, we can actually set the uh, let me show you. You press it down, say for example you want to set this to 1000, you press it down and then you press the minus sign and make sure that it goes to 1000.
Oh, I think what I can do is I just make sure that the middle is 1500 and that should be fine. The minimum and maximum is between 1000 and 2000, that's fine. The more important thing is the, uh, the middle. As long as it's 1500, it's fine. Okay, let's the pitch is fifteen hundred is fine. The row is also fine, it's fifteen hundred. So let's go out. Just need to go to uh your also fifteen hundred. That's fine, there's no need for the adjustment. Just make make it go back to zero, and then I think it should be fine. Like earlier, well, maybe this one needs a bit of adjustment. Yep. I think all the number looks alright. So there's nothing more to adjust. Let's go to uh, modes. I want to arm this with this switch, the whole switch. So move the slider up to top. Um, so let me just set this for horizon and acro. So this should be auxiliary too. So if it's up position, it's horizon, and if it's down, then it's acro. Because I don't usually fly angle mode. If I fly uh, uh, this micro brush outside, you can also do A mode if you want. Yep, press save. Okay. So to make sure that everything is alright, so I just do the uh, calibrate accelerometer again. Go to configuration, save and reboot. I'll save drop PID tuning. For me, I'll just bump this up to about 
0.8 now row point, point 0.7 Okay, now let's test the uh, the quad. Is connect. Okay, this is one of the issues that um, a subscriber face. Everything works fine in a clean flight, but when it comes to uh, connecting, it doesn't work. So let me troubleshoot this. Let me connect back to clean fly, see whether it works. I think I know what's happening. I think the uh, the minimum should go to 1,000 before it actually works. So let me try to solve this problem. So let's say the throttle. Let's go to. Uh, let me just. Hi guys, I'm back. So um, earlier, you you could see that I wasn't able to uh, arm the quad um, because I think the throttle it should go down to one thousand. If it doesn't go down to one thousand, it doesn't work. So. What I'm going to show you is how do we set this down to 1000. So what you need to do is you have to go into the mixer, press that, you go to throttle, select that, go down to uh, subtrim, and if you look at the screen, um, the throttle is when it's all the way down is 1159 so you actually need to uh, reduce the throttle to 1000 by pressing the L negative So you can see in the, on the screen now, the throttle now is down to negative uh, to one thousand, but then the maximum is one six seven eight. That's too low. So what you need to do, you need to adjust the scale. So go up and press um, the plus plus button, and then you can see that 
the scale will move this up to uh, 2000 So you can see that now it's moving between 988. So let's go down the sub trim again. Try to push it up. So I suppose you don't really need to go into the sub -train. just use the scale. Yep, the scale works I think. Now let me connect the battery and see whether you can start the, uh, whether we can arm the quad. Okay, it's now connected. Yeah, we can arm it. So it works. So you don't really need to adjust the sub trim. So all you need to do is just go to the scale and then you adjust, you press, you put the throttle up. Let me just disconnect this first. So what you need to do is just put the throttle up and then press the plus button until it goes up to 2000. And then when you go down, it's about 999. So let me just push this down a bit to less than 2000 so that it doesn't overshoot yeah that's fine now so I think we should also do this for the uh, pitch and roll and the yaw so let me just go up just do rudder first Press this to the right and then go up button. So it's between 999 and 1955. That's fine. And then let's put this in the middle and try to adjust this up. Oh, because this is in a reverse, so the negative is going up, positive is going down. So let me see if I put this on 1500, see how it goes. Doesn't work. So it has to go. I think that's fine. Let's go to elevator.
looks like. I need to press a negative because the channel is reversed. No. No, it's positive again. Sorry. Yep. Now all set. Yeah, it should be fine now. So let me try again. Double check everything. Just need to recalibrate the uh, accelerometer. Go to configuration, save and reboot. Go back, set up. If yep, everything is fine, pause, config, fail safe, PIDs. Receiver That's the ammo Um, to be safe, I don't want to activate any more. I just disconnect that, and I'll do that next time. Okay, now everything is set up. So hopefully, guys, this help you out because I'm doing this for the totally new beginners and uh, like me I did face some problems and that was the first time that I learned how to use the scaling to set the uh, receiver from 1000 to 2000 so hopefully this will help you so hope you guys like this video please like and subscribe to my channels for more videos so until next time Cheers.